Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh my God. Imagine, 
the, the, them demons don't want me to talk about it. I'm good. Listen, I will begin again at the beginning. All right. Okay, then. This is what I said. Now, keep up, darling dears. We just had an interruption of a call on a private number, and I said, I like to respect people's privacy, and I will not answer the phone to a private number. Why? They're bold, they're brash, and they're not getting through to the big cat. I also shook out the runes. This is what fell out, darling dears. Uraz, this this is represented by the God card in tarot, the Hierophant energy. Yes, baby, you are protected by the whole armor of God. They are experiencing a lot of bad karma. And they're afraid of you, darling dears. Why? You possibly called judgment on the situation. Why? Because that's all you could do. You can't curse them, right? You can't make them accountable for whatever they done did, darling dears. But you can call judgment. Why? Because your words carry spiritual weight. Why do you think you had the hardest and the darkest path to overcome, darling dears? They challenged you from a young age. The second house is representative of your past, darling dears. They challenged you because of the talents and the skills that you naturally have. At this moment in time, they're trying to tarnish your reputation by calling you a spellcaster, darling dears, when they don't realize that they curse themselves every day. Your name is in their mouth. The second house also represents the government. You may be a government employee, darling dears. This also speaks is a highly spiritual reading. Why? Because the second house is juxtaposed to the eighth house. The eighth house of what? Death and rebirth. The eighth house is also, also about karma and money, darling dears. So they're being squeezed in their pocket, darling dears. They've got that syndrome of short arms and deep pockets, darling dears. Mm-hmm. The eighth house is also the house of um, romance, um, joint finances, darling dear. So if they've got great relationships, the relationships have gone cold. I can't make it up, darling dears. Listen, it was already Siberia. So just imagine it's below, below Siberia temperatures in their relationships. They are getting the energy that they put out there. They, many of them try to settle in a situation, darling dears. But the situation and circumstance is letting go of them. They are going to be alone, darling dears, with their own wickedness and bad karma. All right, let's press on, darling dears. The energy of Uraz is represented by the letters U and V. It's also representative of the number two on the rune stones and the number five on the tarot cards, darling dears. Okay, the two and the five go to a seven, so your life path number could be a number seven. Okay, your birthday or a special date in your life is the 7th, the 16th, or the 25th. The number seven is associated with the letters G, P, and Y. Okay. Reason why G, P, and Y, you'll never forget because it spells out gypsy, darling dears. You'll always remember that G, P, and Y represent the number seven. Moving on, darling dears. The number seven is ruled by Neptune energy. Neptune is ruling what? Pisces, the 12th house. The 12th house of hidden enemies. It's also the house of death and rebirth, darling dears. They didn't expect you to what? Zip off that suit of drudgery, darling dears. They expected you to still be what? A thumber taking it without the Vaseline, darling dears. Hey, oi, oi. We'll have none of that. Time out. Ha, <laughs> child. Mm -hmm. Let me get back into the flow of it. The energy of the eighth house also speaks about debt and karmic debt. I told you, darling dears, they are in the midst of the bad karma they created on themselves, which was what pushed over the, over the edge when you called judgment on the situation because there was nothing you could do. You couldn't fix it. You couldn't change it. You couldn't what? Shut up their big fat lying, lying holes, darling dears. All you could do was give it to the most high. Why? Because you understood the assignment to cover yourself with the whole, the whole armor of God, your spiritual armor, Ephesians 613, darling dears. And they fear you and they blame you, but they need to what? Take you off their mind completely. Every thought every word every action they are getting in real time reaction darling dears they need to allow the big cat it's also something to do with assets darling dears something to do with an inheritance which is causing them a lot of them to be in what a lot of hot water darling dears mm -hmm. 
some of them are calling you a witch or a warlock, darling dears. Why? Because you are actually using your psychic abilities. Maybe you're a reader. Maybe you are um, a Reiki master. Whatever it is you're doing on the spiritual side, darling dears. They want to cast dispersion on you. Listen, quiet as it's kept, darling dears. The Bible itself is the biggest book of spells you will see this side of the universe. Trust and believe. When you don't know what's going on, you're reading these things and you don't understand that a lot of them are casting off spells. There is a lot of contradictions in there, but there is also a lot of truth. You have to be looking with your third eye. Many of them are using the Bible to curse your name, darling dears. Not realizing that you already had the whole armor of God at birth. Why? Because you came back. Because you've known them in many lifetimes. This isn't the first time you've met them. This is why you felt comfortable with that wickedness around you. Yes, you've known them in many lifetimes, darling dears. And in every lifetime up until this time, they always bested you. They made you live a life of drudgery, pain and regret until this lifetime, darling dears. The energy of the Hierophant, let's lean in, bestie. It speaks about you being in some kind of institution. You are a, um, um, a mentor, some kind of a speaker, communicator. You speak spiritual truths. You've always done it, darling dears. You have always been different, attracted to the crystals, attracted to astrology, tarot cards, even um, cartomacy, reading of player card, playing cards, palmistry. You've always been attracted. Why? Because divine wanted you to open your spiritual gifts. That was the next, the next tool tool you had to what climb up out of the pit they thought you'd be in for air they didn't know that you knew how to backstroke in the pit they didn't they didn't know that you had a what warrior spirit they didn't know that you was ibex to the core they didn't know that you being in these difficult tight circumstances would activate another part of your brain because we are purported to only use 5%. Well, guess what? Big Cat likes to go for a full 10. Blaming you at every turn for what they co-created in their lives, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Let me carry on with the energy of the seven. As I was saying, the energy of the seven is a highly spiritual number. Again, your spiky, psychic abilities. I just said spike. Listen, Freudian slip meant to come out. It's about to spike. Remember I told you, Uranus and Jupiter are going to be in conjunction in Aries on the 20th of April. I've told you this many times, Big Cat. I personally believe that it's going to kick off the, the shift in generational wealth as all of the big companies, you know what I'm talking about, goes digital. Right. Remember, let me let me let me just educate you on something else. What's going on? Right. Without saying too much. Right. We all know of this country beginning with I that was attacked and two of their generals and higher ups was killed in this attack. We also know that the person that they the country that they attacked retaliated on them. Right. OK. Right. And we also know that they did some form of damage, but they was well within their rights to attack because they was attacked for no reason. Now, the reason why the people that are going to retaliate are going to retaliate is because there is, listen, best friend, whether you believe me or not, you can research yourself because I'm here to what? Be a pointer, not a picker. The reason why they're all fighting over that big J, we know what it is, that country, right? The reason why they're fighting over it is because there is a stargate there. There's a stargate there. They have a reason to fight over it. The same stargate that, yes, baby, yes, all of this and that. Because you're wondering why, why are all of a sudden... Why? Why are they fighting every country around them? Why is that superpower? But look at look at when they when when um when the country that got their got their embassy attacked, darling dears, they used about what I don't know about fifty million to launch their attack. But the country that got attacked that has their their invisible dome, right? They used nearly one billion one billion trillion dollars, darling dears, one billion dollars of their taxpayer money to try and ward off that attack. 
And every penny is being taken out of that country's mouth. The, the people of that land, darling, there's a suffering. How comes they're doing that? Why would they want to protect that? Why? Because there is a stargate there. The Hierophant is telling you that I speaks the truth. Ruth, darling, dears. I didn't pick it. You saw me shake it out, darling, dears. Pinkies, up. You've got to start questioning these things. It's not just about me pulling the cards. It's about me telling you something that resonates in your soul and in your spirit. Why you was activated at this time. You are a protector, but you are being protected. Look at your life from when you escaped those, those detrimental circumstances that would have had you barking at passing cars, darling. Just barking, dressing like Cosimodo's bestie, living in the crevice of the devil's balls. And many of you had to leave them circumstances with progeny. They didn't care. But yet your progeny still rise. Yet you still rise. Yet you always have. Because the universe has your back. As purported by what? Your Raz, darling dears. The God card in tarot. The energy of the seven. Let me finish with that, darling dears. The energy of the seven is also, again, telling you to listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition and follow it to the letter over the next seven days, seven weeks, seven months, darling dears, because we have major changes. Everyone was waiting for this physical change that happened at the, the new moon solar eclipse in Aries. No, nah, baby, that energy is for six months. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. Not only that, within that energy, darling dears, I've already put out the read for that in which house it's fallen in for you and how you can use those tools to bend the matrix, darling dears. You've always been gifted with tools and the biggest tool is your birth natal chart and you need, you must understand it in order to know thyself, to know that you are a chosen warrior. You wasn't meant to fit in, darling dears. You was meant to break the matrix, darling dears. Bend it and create a whole different way. This is, we are, this is why we are all linking up at this moment in time. It's for no small reason. I'm trying to give you the information without jumbling it all up. And there's another thing you might as well add to, the, to, the, to, to, the, to your bushel of conspiracies, darling dears. We've now got the royal family, because I live in the UK, the royal family saying now saying that Kate won't be available for October, some kind of, I don't even know what it is because I don't follow the royal ceremonies. I'm not a royalist. I'm just here in the UK, right? Because my parents came on the wind rush. Listen, that's a whole nother thing. But I told you in previous readings, I told you in the Mercury retrograde reading, right? When Mercury retrograde was in Sagittarius and went into Capricorn, that there's going to be issues with the royal family. The royal family always make a big announcement or something major happens in their life around a solar or a lunar eclipse. They said that she's going to be, they're going to be out of commission until October, okay? This is the king to be, okay? The next eclipse is, two eclipses is on the 2nd of October and on the 10th, the 17th of October, Something major is going to go down around that time. If, listen, you, if you ever was a survivalist, you need to get your shiznai together. Remember I told you that because they are, I know I'm jumping all over the place, darling, this, but I have to give it to you as it's coming to me. Okay, you can slow it down, rewind it, mark it off, whatever you do. But this is solid information. Solid information, darling, dears. We are going through a spiritual change, a spiritual ascension, and they are going to blame you for everything that they're going through. And it's only because you took back your power grid. Pay no attention to their social media. Every time you look, you focus and give them energy, more energy to what do what they did to you to somebody else. You have to be your brother's keeper in that respect. Pay no attention, no attention to the flying monkeys that will be bleeding, bleeding to come and speak to you, darling dears. They will use the energy of this new moon solar eclipse in Aries to come through, darling dears, and give you a different face. But it's the same face of what is, was it a different face of the same snake? Remember I told you that? Mm hmm All right. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be four, five, and seven. Your luckiest days are Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. Numbers to be avoided are two, three, six, and eight, or a combination of said numbers. 
The number seven is ruled by a semi-sextile. So it speaks about the healing and transformation that you've been gifted at this moment in time. Why? Because you learn to forgive. And in order to forgive, you have to be diplomatic. And being diplomatic means that you call judgment. You don't ask for what the judgment is because there is nothing that you and I can do on this Malkuth that could top anything that the Most High has in store for them because they live in karma. Trust and believe. The kind of karma that slips into your house in thigh-high thigh red leather boots, darling, dears. And get straight to business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Divine wants you to make sure that you analyze any form of documentation, especially people's behaviors around you, darling, dears. You're going to be noticing that people stare at you more in public. It's not because you look funny or it's your hair. No, it's not, darling, dears. It's because you're in a light. I told you, you are covered in the whole armor of God. People are going to try and come at you for your light. I know. I just said I don't like visitors. Who don't like visitors? Listen. <laughs> I don't like visitors either fist bump especially un listen you can't turn up at my house spontaneous you've been trapped from when you become when you come 15 feet from the perimeter right you ring the bell until your finger is raw and if i'm feeling frisky that day i will go to the top of my house and release shits from an upper window they'll think it's the ceiling falling in darling dears they'll leave like chicken licking and the only duty i only thing i'm duty bound to do is to call the emergency services to remove the basura so like it doesn't prevent the big cat from walking mm -hmm. they're coming back darling dears you think you've gotten away scot-free no oh no no you will have one more battle to fight with they them and um one more but in this case darling dears you are going to be prepared as you are covered with knowledge and wisdom and remember you are a survival kit for another big cat Mm -hmm. Let's get the energy of the seven out, darling dears. The number seven, seven, as I said, is ruled by Neptune energy. Let's get the Neptune energy out. Yeah. They wanted you to be forever the sacrificial lamb, darling dears, yet they live in sacrifice. Sacrifice, why? Because they what? They outed any light or connection to the light when they did what they did to you. Me personally, if I was day them and arm, I'd put my put your name down. I would leave you alone. I'd run away if anybody mentioned it to me, right? Because every time they mention your name, something happens to them. Are they that feeble-minded? Good God, make me want to rip off my lace front and attack the screen. Mm -hmm. Let's get the seventh house to remind us of the energies, darling dears. The seventh house is what? Um, the house of partnerships. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This is something I never noticed before, right? The number seven, the seventh house, right? Because the number seven is ruled by Neptune. I would automatically go to the what? The twelfth house. But this is the seventh house, darling dears. Partnerships. And what does it say with the seventh house? It's the house of what? open enemies i told you their mouth is open that sewage that sewage cesspit they dare to call a mouth darling dears the gingivitis carriers every time they mention your name something else happens bad to them or whomsoever is in their hemisphere i told you relationships are going cold their progeny is turning their back on them darling dears they've been utilized used up and and what pushed to one side mm -hmm. The eighth house is also the house of death, darling dear. Some of them are on their deathbeds. Baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Because we have the energy of the hierophant here, darling dears. It's in the upright. It shows what? Positive, good health for you. Okay. The reason why I've put the um, different elements to the major arcana is because I've examined hundreds of natal charts. And more often than not, I will get a death certificate, darling dears, because it usually tells you what the person died of, right? You get their date of birth and then I can line it up. Listen, baby, listen, your girl is always working just because you don't see me all the time. Well, you do practically every day. But listen, when I'm not on camera, I'm learning. Never give up learning. That's when you become old. 
just like them, decrepit, just like them. What? And focusing on someone else's green grass as they languish in their astro turf. We've got the three and the one that goes to a four, darling dears. The energy of the one, it speaks about you having to make a major decision, darling dears. Spirit is telling you not to make it until after the next new moon, which will be in Taurus on the 8th of May. The energy of the three is what the gossip, go, they need to shut their effing cake holes. They need to shut it up, but they won't. Let them continue to chat it up because every time they do that, darling dears, they create more karma for themselves and a blessing for you. Pardon me again, that's a spiritual belch because I speak the truth rule. And another thing, for those of you that always eat and as soon as you hear the rumbling in your stomach, it's not your stomach rumbling because you're hungry. It's because your body has finally got to the state where it's going to start to detox. When you hear that noise, you're supposed to wait at least three hours before you consume something. So you give your chance, a body a chance to what? De detox and cleanse itself. All right. Like I said... We know why they're fighting. We know why the other people are putting all of their country monies at their disposal. But what they don't understand, Big Cat, is that you, each and every one of you, we all hold the power. We need to have a prayer movement, darling dears, because we're all around the world. When we are all praying at the same time, we can change anything. Hmm... I'm going to think about an appropriate date, darling, dears. One that's going to hit with a bang. It would have been lovely to have it done for the 20th of April, but I don't think that's appropriate because it's not enough time for people to plan their self. Yes, 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 yes. They, 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 we, listen, Big Cat, you hold all the power. You always did, right? And you should never allow anyone who is at the bottom of the pit, the crevice of the devil's balls, right to cast aspersion on you and if they do it's not in your hearing and anything behind your back is none of your business it's the past which is behind you like a ponytail and again we speak of the past hierophant energy the second house someone you was possibly in partnership with darling dears the seventh house is also legal you may have had to call in the police solicitors yes yes restraining orders or maybe defamation of character these people were once close associates darling dears your peers would be family members or a love interest darling dears that did not love you why as far as they was concerned you was the only person that they could get at that level or stage in their life i know you might be upset to hear this but it's the truth roof didn't matter about your light and as soon as they bettered themselves darling dears they started to see you as less than treat you as a nothing kind of nobody but they was meant to do that darling dears that's why Divine hid your gangster when you was truly in their presence. It slipped out a few times with you being involved with crystals and the tarot cards, cartomacy, palmistry, um, reke, whatever it is, you it slipped out a bit, darling dears. But they was never able to see your true, true actuality. Why? Because you didn't know yourself then. Not like you know you now. Not like you like how you love you now. Some of you are so in love with yourself, you don't want a partner. Why? Why would you disrupt your energy when you're able to pay your bills, right? Create generational wealth. You are muma and fuda to your progeny, right? Some of them try to leave the progeny on you, right? To make you feel depressed when they don't realize that they left the progeny in the bed. Listen, they couldn't have chosen a better partner. Baby, for real, yo. for real, real. Leaving the progeny to your... Your divine, divine guidance, darling, this was the right thing. Mm -hmm. You heard that. They're very upset, darling, dears. They're very upset. Mm -hmm. We're going to get some more cards involved in this. Because I told you I can be such a chatty cat and I've got so many things to tell. Look! I just removed it. Look, this everything is about the seventh house, darling, dears. The energy of 77, darling dears, is divine, pushing you, prompting you to look within. All answers come from within. This is another thing I've got to get off my chest, right? Yes, I do quote the Bible. I, I do. I do. I quote Proverbs. I quote Psalms because I saw my mother read that every single day of my life, right? Mm-hmm. But even in the Bible, Jesus said, right? Ask me for nothing, right? 
Jesus also, I, I think it's in John something or other. Jesus also said that every answer comes from within. Go within. God is within each of us. Stop praying to idols. The Most High said he or she is a jealous God. Why are you praying for something outside of you to change your paradigm when you have this, have the star seed, the spark to change anything you want by changing your mind and you can change your mind from minute to minute. It's about you going within, darling dears, realizing that you have the whole armor of God. You are backed by your ancestral team. You are the chosen one sent forth to change the paradigm on this Malkuth. You wasn't meant to what? Change that fishbowl you was born into or married into, darling dears. You was meant to go into the ocean and link up with like-minded souls. For real, yo. This is your time. And as I said, the cards are telling us about the seventh house. The open enemies that are still washing you down. Wiping you down with their wickedness, darling dears. Not seeing that it's already being sent back. Boomerang style by the Most High Father God, Mother Isis. We can't call them haters anymore. We have to call them admirers. Because they would not be trying to hate on you, darling dears. You who is minding your own biz naive, darling dears. You who is the moving silence champion. The red light, green light champion. As am I of 79. Pinkies up. Why are they so focused on you? They didn't think you was good enough. They wanted you brown bread swimming with the fishes. Yeah, they wanted all of this and that. They did not expect you to bend the matrix and build legacies. But the legacies come from the inside out, darling dears. Many of the steps you've taken, you didn't even know what you was doing. But it's just, you was guided, spiritually guided to take each step. Look at how your life has played out. It's a wonder to behold. Because there can only be one in every family unit, darling dears. Only one in your generation, darling dears. All of us have different paradigms because we are all the faces of God. This is why we have the life that we have. God wanted to understand himself, itself, the universe by the life we live, darling dears. You were sent to teach people resilience. You were sent to teach people that all answers come from within. The energy of the 77 is telling you this. Continue to believe in yourself, bestie. Believe in yourself. Make sure that everything you do, your eating, your work, everything is aligned with your spiritual purpose. And how do you find that? Through your what? Your life path number and your north node, which is no small thing. Everything is going on in Aries at this moment in time. Find out what where Aries is on your birth natal chart. Find out where Mars is, darling dears. Look for Jupiter. Look for Uranus. Look, understand these things. Then you will understand what's going on around you, how to circumvent energies. That's why I do the new moon reads, the full moon, the retrogrades, because I'm giving you every tool just to whet your curiosity. So you choose to dig deep. And once you've done all of this introspection, you must, as a light worker, star seed, share your wisdom, your stories, darling dears, your counseling, because you were sent to heal, to heal. This is why they did what they did. This is why they live amongst the bad karma. Hey, let that bad juju. Stay with them. Just let that sink in, big cat. Let it sink in. When was the last time you looked in the mirror and said, I love you? You in the mirror, your own self. Your face which changes if you stare too deep in your own eyes.
always been about you, darling dears. It's always been about you. Divine sent us as starseed light workers to see how his being would be as it, we enacted our lives, darling dears. It's a lot of cards, hang man. Seeing things from a different spiritual perspective, darling dears. It also speaks about what cutting off what no longer serves you. This is the season to let everything go. The new moon solar eclipse in Aries is the first house. It's about a new beginning. New beginnings, darling dears. Somebody's also wishing an accident on you at this moment in time. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Aries is Mars. Mars is the, as I said, the first house. So you have to be very careful with your genitalia. Somebody might try to invite you into the bed. It's in, in oh my gosh. It's also to do with the, um, the pooper scoop, the pooper scooper, whatever. The pooping track, darling, dears. Be very careful of being taken on some kind of date or going around somebody because they're going to violate you in that way. And remember, when somebody violates you in that way, it's to, a form of mind control to break you down, darling, dears. That's, that slapping in you slapping you in your face people that hurt children abuse the elderly and those that are not mentally capable of what understand listen straight to the crevice of the devil's balls with them darling dears listen i know i'm on a rant today but i've got to tell you it straight darling dears you have a different perspective right let go of what no longer serves you and be very careful of what your comings and goings pay attention stop being so focused on your mobile phone you need to know who's around you don't go around with your, your headphones in and it turned all the way up. Have one of them off. You need to hear what's coming towards you, darling dears. And just because you're a man, don't think that you're going to be safe because they, listen, what do they say? Hide your wives, hide your kids, hide everyone. They, they graping everyone out there because they see your light. Not just people you've known from the past, darling dears people that you will meet on this spiritual ascension as you collect the assets that are for you and you alone. <laughs> because heavy is the head that wears the crown, darling dears. And at your back, what did I tell you about? The evilness that is being directed at you. High priestess is also what? Tend to your, your inner world, your emotions, darling dears. You may be female or in your feminine energy at this moment in time. Tend to yourself. Again, it's again for you to what? Listen to your intuition and your discernment because evil is lurking. I can't make this up. Listen, where's my big bell? Listen. Let that bud judge you. Stay where it is. Mm -mm. Good golly and gosh. Because we've got lovers, darling. Dears. Lovers is the Gemini energy. Gemini energy is what about communications? Somebody's watching you over the phone or on their TV, the third house, Gemini, okay? They've seen you take short journeys. Maybe you've gone into higher education because the third house is about learning. You've learned new things. Something to do with boats. Is somebody going on a boat trip or, or, your, or you love boats? Someone also has to be careful if you have asthma around this time. I told you, evil is lurking around you. I used to, my daughter, my youngest daughter has asthma. She's always had it terrible um, because she got um, impetigo when she was 11 days old. Imagine that. I just had a C-section, right? And then um, she kept getting these boils on her face because it's the third baby. When I saw it the first day, I didn't think nothing of it. When I saw the, the boils on her face linking up, that's when I was alarmed. You know when you've, it's your third child, darling. Dear. That child's got to hang on by their fingertips. The other one, the first baby, is like like when you raise up the baby. You know in The Lion King? Nothing can touch this child. Not the wind. No one's, uh, no one's allowed to touch it. But by the third baby in, listen, they just need to hang on. <laughs> but anyway, I took her to, I saw I was alarmed. I took her to the doctor's surgery. And they said to me, the doc, it was an Asian man. I can't remember his name. He goes, you have to go to the hospital. I said, go to the hospital. He goes, you need to go and call an ambulance. Do you want me to call them now or do you want to pack a bag? Go immediately. In Patigo, she was in the hospital for um, two weeks and I had a C-section. They didn't even have a proper bed in the room. But what I'm saying to you, darling, has got nothing to do with that. But let me carry on. Let me carry on. Yeah, because I was talking about the asthma. Ever since she got that, she's always had um, breathing issues, darling, dears. And the reason... 
listen, I'm going to have to make another video to explain what everything that went on around that time. Why she was spiritually attacked, my newborn baby. Right? All right. Okay, then. I was using the Himalayan pink salt with the ceramic inhaler for my daughter. And it was working. And then... I came across something, something just told me, I just started researching it and then I saw all of the, he the heavy metals. I've now changed it to what? Celtic salt, the crystal Celtic salt in the ceramic inhaler. And that is so much better. So if you've got asthma issues, go for that darling dears, because we've already seen it. What's, uh, what's lurking? An evil spelt backwards is live. Big cat must live. You have to live. How else are you gonna sock it to him, Scott? Eh? Mm hmm. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, darling dears, but you have to what? Make the right choices. All of this is multiples of the two, darling dears. This may be important numbers for you, 12, 2 or 6. Lovers making the right contracts. Base of the deck. Family members that are doing this, darling dears. Family members. Family members are the worst, blood. They're the worst. But remember, I told you this started from the past, childhood, past. Whether you was adopted or you was born into that family, you felt, you was always different. You felt different, darling dears. And many of you, quite as it's kept, you didn't come into this world by yourself. You was born a twin. Your parents just didn't tell you, but you've always known that you should have been a twin. How about that? Okay. Let's carry on. So it's family members that sending all of this wickedness to you, darling dears. Family members. Base of the deck, initiating certain things, darling dears. Really? They're playing with things that they have no understanding of and just because the bad karma has found their address and it's living with them for air. Why? They need to take you off their mind and out of their mouth. What's the oracle ancestral message around this? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Here you are, darling dears, having cleansed your energy. But this is the dark, evil energy that's being directed at you. And remember, it's by family members. And remember, remember, we had the what? The partners, the seventh house, darling dears. Plus we had the um, seventh, the seventh house on the black cards as well. Family members that are doing this, darling dears. Sending all of that energy. Mm -hmm. When we see a waterfall in the background, darling dears, it's powerful emotions. They they hate you so much, but yet they're so focused. They can't stop speaking about you. Mm -hmm. The waterfall also speaks about the powerful forces that are protecting you and it's speeding up. Why? An urgency is needed. Why? Because of the evil that is being directed at you, big cat. Listen, when I say you, I mean me. Why? Because we're besties, mate. And I'm, I'm what? The ground support. <laughs> I'm the ground support. After all, this is Don't Get Smoke headquarters. Mm -hmm. Protect yourself, bestie. I've told you this many times. Mirrors are portals. Black obsidian crystal next to your mirror or black tourmaline in your chariot of righteousness. Even you've got a bicycle. Tape it to the handlebars, darling dears. Make sure you carry that with you. They are wishing death on you, accidents on you. And I told you, in some cases, somebody's going to attempt to grape someone and you don't want to be grape. Trust and believe. Protect yourself. I've got two videos out called Don't Get Smoked. One of them I think is about relatives and the other one, I teach you like Kung Fu and self-defense. And I kid you not, you've got to protect yourself, bestie. You've got to know how to jab someone in the eye and run away. How to stiffen your fingers and jab them in the throat. How to use your limb. This, these, these are not elbows. They're limb destructors. You've got to know how to what? Drop your weight down so that no one can pick you up and take you anywhere. They're out there, darling dears. And so much negative energy is being sent at you at this moment in time because of the effect of the eclipse behind it, darling dears. Because of the what? The Uranus and Jupiter in conjunction, in Taurus. Again, we see the Taurus. A major blessing is coming towards you. Go and watch that, darling dears. Go and watch that to see where you're being blessed so that you can what? work in that area. Work on that area. What's this other card? Because you are the baddest of them all. This looks like a rose. 
but it also to me looks like it could be a lotus because the lotus grows in the dirty of waters feminine energy i already said from the high priestess you are in your feminine energy you are high priest or priestess darling is predestined predestined to bring the light base of the deck darling is what did i say unhealed shadow side darling is they can't trust their own shadow after dark but you chose to what go within with that shadow self why because you took my advice and you what went to the mirror <laughs> look deep into your eye chakras and slap the shiznai until blood and spittle flew until common sense your flip-flop prevailed you did and whenever they creep into your mind, what did I say? You go to what? Counter action number two, a five pound bag of rice where you counted one grain at a time until you got your mind right. The power of the mind. You can co-create anything, but you could also bring that bad karma and evil towards yourself. You have to protect your physical being, your spiritual being. You have to realize whom you are. Certain energies that you was around before, you can't be around them. You barely stand other people's company and energies, darling dears. Why? It was all part of your healing journey, all part of your shadow work while you was in the DNS. What is that? The dark night of the soul. Had to look over my shoulder. I told you, bestie. I'm the red light, green light champion of 79. And I ain't going through that again, blood. Nope. I love my hairline. My progeny love me and they want me to survive. So we can sock it to them. We have 110 in the chat, darling dears. Please hit the thumbs up button, darling dears. This message has to go out to many. Don't be a meanie. Right, let's get a deck. We're going to go with the, the black right away. Look, as I picked up the deck. <laughs> Hurrah! Listen, whatever they were sending towards you, darling dears. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Whoa, I need some celebrating noise. Where's my celebrating noise? Yes! <laughs> Listen, I'm twerking on the inside, bestie. I know a lot of you went cold when I told you, and we saw it together, how the cards came out. But whatever they was trying to do, it's not going to prosper. But you have to be in the seat of loving thyself, putting yourself first. But remember, you have to share your stories, give counselling to others, right? Yes, you do. Volunteering is the best way. This is why we're all here, right? To show love. Mm -hmm. and to help all right what's this whatever they was trying to send towards you knight of swords on its face no weapon formed against you but it also speaks about someone's mouth being shut could be by legal situation mm -hmm. lean in bestie lean in the knight of swords is air energy libra aquarius gemini libra the house of partnerships aquarius the house of groups gemini is a group setting talking darling dears talking a lot of shiz naive about the big cat in groups imagine it takes a whole group of them to try and bring you down not realizing it's still giving them more bad karma why because they fear you know whom you are and what you command lest you waste your energy darling dears because whatever they done did, I doubt you'd be able to what? Pick yourself up again. This is the age of Aquarius. This is a wonderful time to be alive. Let's give it a quick shifty and see what's going on. They're chucking proper evil at you. But like I said, when the elastic band breaks, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Tell us. We are listening. <laughs> Focus, man. That's a lot of cards. Lots of confusion. We'll take this one. Yes. They're seeing you from a different perspective. Hangman on its on its forehead. Well, this is the this is the reverse. 
This way is the reverse, darling. This hangman is water, as well as what? Neptune energy. Didn't I just tell you? It's the house of what enemies? This is a hidden enemy. You already know who these people are because we've already just, what? Blew it out of the water. I told you, it's family members or people that you had like family in your life. Mm -hmm. This is the second time, darling, dears, the hangman's come out. And you know the duality of the second time is the two, the high priestess. Again, listen to your discernment and your intuition, right? Look, it just fell in the reverse. This is somebody in a, in they're in relationships where they're being treated like the what the redheaded stepchild. Situations are going cold. People, their partners have seen them from a different perspective. Maybe they was the what the fix up guy or girl, darling dears. Whatever the situation is, it's about to end. Mm -hmm. Dark ways. And look, the high priestess fell in reverse, and it's right next goes back right next to the evil. What did I say? The spell work that they sent at you, darling dears. And you know these people, you've met these people, you've been in their energy. This is not someone online. This is someone that knows you. Well, they used to know you, darling dears. If you haven't spoken to them in three months, a year, two years, they don't know who you are. You don't know who they are. We're, we're in full on Mariah Carey mode. I don't know that person or people. Right. Yeah, bestie. Like I was saying, let's continue with the hangman. This, these people are extremely selfish. They are in, they're shape-shifting and mean. Gone straight into victimhood, darling dears. Blaming you for all of the bad luck, the rut that they find themselves in, darling dears. They know that they're causing this on themselves, but they're not believing it, darling dears. They need to believe it to their core. What's this on the tableau, darling dears? They know they're going through, the, that they cause this on themselves through the things that they said and did. These family members, in the reverse, you don't know. You're stuck in your head, living rent-free and all of this. They know exactly what they said and did. Salt is about communication. And we already saw the energy of the group with the Libra, Aquarius and Gemini energy. It took a whole group of them to try and bring you down, darling dears. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. You have someone coming towards you. Possibly what? Trying to charm you off your flip-flop, darling dears. Take you from your common sense. Listen, this is somebody that's coming with the bad juju. The same one that sent the death spell, the evilness, whatever they sent towards you, darling dears. They didn't know that it would what? It'd be like what? It's like shimmer. They sent you shimmer, darling dears. You continue to pee glitter, shit cupcakes and fart rainbows. You're like, what's going on? Is it going to rain today? That time it was a major spiritual attack, blood. <laughs> You're in your garden, weed in the garden. You're having a lovely what? Um, goddess or oh, god bath, darling dears, mind your own business, right? You're like, what's going on? That time, you just missed a death arrow. You missed something that would have put you in a wheelchair, darling dears. One of your progeny was saved. It was a minor, a minor. But they want to come through, darling dears. Knight of Cups is also somebody wanting to come and apologize. What are they? Listen, we want to know exactly what. It, where's my tiny card? Let's get to the core. What exactly are they going to say they're sorry for? Let's give it a good shifty. Mm. They're sorry for the things that they did to you. Some of them may have had you under physical attack or possibly put their hands on you, darling dears. They're going to say sorry for anything they said about you online. Pentacalis is represented about online. Will they be telling the truth? No, blood. They're not telling the truth. In the upright, this is the truth. In the, this is a fucking liar. It's a, it's a, I need a, I need a, I need a Scottish full, I need a different accent. I need a different, <laughs> I need a different accent. I do, for this. Wow. They be lying, darling dears. They, listen, in the upright, they be clinging to the truth. Nah, blood. Mm -mm. They come into like. They're coming to say that they didn't mean anything they said, right? And a lot of things that they said was online, darling dears. They're coming to say sorry. Mm. Because they got the bad karma on them. Chariot in the upright is success moving forward, right? Being spiritually guided, listening to your higher mind. In the reverse, they're talking straight to the devil. In crevice of said, of the devil's balls, darling dears. Yeah, they're coming to lie to you. Hey, hey, listen, if you're in the mood to be lied to, that's your business, blood. 
Hit me up in the comments. Don't you dare Gmail me. I will send back an abusive letter, right? I've told you in advance. This is for all the cats to look at, right? They want to apologize, darling dears, and they're gonna be telling you lies. Mm -hmm. We first saw it in the reverse, now we're seeing it in the upright. This is gonna be happening very quickly, darling dears. Two knights on the tableau, lean in, bestie. When we see two knights on the tableau, darling dears, if you allow this person or people, this family member back into your life, it will quickly what they send into disagreements and arguments. Because you have to remember what they're seeing and what they see from their spying, darling dears, their mouth meeting, their town, or should I see say should I say mud hut meeting, right? What they're seeing on the outside is nothing compared to what's really going on in your life, bestie. You and I know. <laughs> if they really knew, listen, they would spontaneously combust. It will soon turn into arguments and fight. They're gonna come to you, darling dears, and they're gonna come with the one's energy that's bringing the gossip on the other feeble-minded family members. Yes, they think you wanna know this when your mind is clear and free, right? When you've already gained a new perspective on life, one where you're living, you're happy, and your hairline is replenished. Listen, we, we oi, oi. If you say, if you tell anyone I threatened you, I'll deny it. I'll do a shaggy and say it wasn't me. Do you know what they're talking about? It was a glitch. <laughs> I know, Misty. I know. But being prepared, being forewarned is forearmed, darling dears. And you have the whole armor of God. Coming in to bring news about other family members, darling dears. What else? Oh, good golly and gosh. Now they remember that you was loyal, darling dears. See that archway, the new opportunities you've co-created for yourself? When we see buildings in the background, it's a stable foundation. This is normally an old man with a, a beard. You've created some kind of generational wealth. You may be older in age, darling dears. Nothing wrong with that. Some people are so ashamed of the age of growing old. They don't want to, I tell everybody my age, I'm 56 years old. Because you know what? Not everybody was able to live to my age. Did, did Steve Jobs make it? What's his name? OJ barely made it past the 56. He got to 57, right? And now he's, listen, don't let me go into there because I'll be off on another tangent. I've got so many things to tell you, bestie. I think I, I need to just do um, like a podcast where I sit down and we can talk about these things because we need to talk about these things. They're coming back because of your stable, darling dears. You are able to co-create. You may even be online. Energy of the 10 is the new beginning you've created for yourself. Why? You had no choice. You had no choice. Look, this is incoming. You have a message coming in, darling dears. But when that message comes in, don't leave it unread. Remember, darling dears, words are spells. Words are spells. We use them every day. That's why I've, I've decided amongst myself, because there's lots of things I think about, darling dears. I'm going to stop saying good morning. Why? Because morning is what you do when somebody dies, when there's been a loss. I'm going to start saying something like good morning. Why morning? Because money is currency. Because when we're born, we're given a birth certificate, right? That makes us into, into um, a company, right? Mm -hmm. That's why when people go to court, right? Once you enter past the gates to go approach the judge or the bench or whatever, you are now under what? Maritime law. No, nah, blood. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. But then, then again, I digress again. Okay, what's the eight of swords? What is it that they truly know? Why Why have they got the balls, the bollocks, darling, just yes, to try and approach you with a, with a fake apology? They think that you want to listen to gossip, subterfuge, and bull swanky. They think that. I told you they're feeble-minded. I, 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 didn't I tell you they were simpletons? I did. Why do you care? If you've left that situation and it's been years, months, weeks, it could even be days, darling dears, but you've made up your mind. Again, we've got the Knight of Swords. Good golly and gosh. This is about you not taking on the information that they sent towards you. Now we've got three knights on the tableau, darling dears. Listen, two knights is the arguments and the quarrels that they're gonna bring back, right? <laughs> when we see three knights, darling dears, this is definitely a fake friend. 
They come in with fake fakeness, darling dears. Fakeazoidness. There is no true apology, right? They're not trying to be your friend. They want to bring you down. Why? Because number one, they fear you. And number two, they blame you. And nothing like being in the vicinity of the person you blame. Yeah. So they can definitely turn around and say, well, it's only because I went around the big cat. This happened to me. And I know that this person is a spellcaster. When they was up to their up to their scrotum and ovaries in it before, before they tried to come back and apologize. They are up to it. I told you. They're living amongst the bad karma that they created. Mm -hmm. King of Swords, darling dears. Again, continue to be the moving silence champion, darling dears. The King of Swords, whether you are male or female, is someone who is what? Slow to speak, darling dears. Why? Because you're analyzing everything. Analyze everything. We already saw the energy of the three and the one, darling dears. The one, because you have a major decision or a contract to sign right but don't sign it or make well you can do what you like you have free will you're just i'm just your guide i'm your bestie right i'm giving you the best of advice don't do it until after the 8th of may until after the new moon remember the new moon energy lasts for three days so up until the 11th well what's on the 11th the 11th is a master number darling dears um the 11th speaks about what you being a master healer so you'll be able to what heal and help your situation after the next new moon Mm -hmm. You've got to be silent, darling dears, because you have to ask yourself, why now? Why now when they've always treated you like the red-headed stepchild? Why now? Because this is what they want for you, darling dears. They don't want you to be rested. They, some of them want you dead. Yes, brown bread, right? Mm -hmm. And again... When you, when I read to you, I want you to understand what's going on in the cards. When you, whenever, are you listening, bestie? Are you paying attention? <laughs> are you, are you floating on my every word? Are you? Okay, then. When we see a, a tomb, right, or a coffin, right, especially on top of someone, this is what somebody wants to do to you, right? But the tomb and the coffin could also speak about rest, relaxation, recuperation, it's also about the death of your ego, darling dears. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my civil play. Your ego is going to come into play when they approach you, darling dears. Your ego, which is not your amigo. You're gonna. Some of you are going to feel happy, even flattered that they, they thought of you again. Listen, you want them to take their effing mind off of you, blood. I just done told you that already, bestie. You don't want them to think about you. You don't want them to speak about you. And you don't definitely don't want to engage because I'm telling you, you ain't seen nothing yet. If you think you've been through the DNS, the dark night of the soul, be prepared for a second inning and you won't be able to make it out again. This is the age of Aquarius. Remember, you are setting the, the, the tone for your lineage going forward. Divine has already given you this. And some of you are saying, but I've only got this. There's always the but, isn't there? And what's but? That's the back end, darling dears. Remember, if you can't appreciate the little that you are gifted now, you won't be given anything bigger because you will mismanage it. Especially if you're allowing family members from the past. That means all of this wickedness on you, darling dears. To come back in. That's your ego, which is not your amigo. No, blood. Remember. You are the what? Moving silence champion, darling dears. As a big cat, you have learned over time to what? Think like a gangster and move like a nun. Mm -hmm. This. I'll take the two that I saw. The energy that I was sending you, look what's underneath it. Nine of pentacles mean you are single and independent, darling dears, minding your own business. And you will soon go from what? The nine to the queen to the empress. Yes, you will, darling dears. But what you need to understand is that you have what a calling, a spiritual calling on your life. It has to be the death of your ego. You can't be impressed by man because man has failed you so many times. This is why you have to put your faith in the most high. But in order to put your faith in the most high, you don't just sit there and wait for it to fall on your back. Be appreciative of the small so that the big can come in. Why? Because when you are appreciative of the small, darling dears, 
when you are appreciative of the small, you are in what deserving mode. You have to get your subconscious mind trained into deserving because you've been around people that made you feel less than. Even when you're getting, being gifted with things, you, you're, not, you're not feeling as though you truly deserve it. And just because I've just said it to you, all of you are saying now, I deserve this. I, not just because I said it, bestie. <laughs> Oi, stop it. All right, stop it. You've got to be in that mode all of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get another deck. If they want to come and sneak back in to bring nothing back, what bad juju are you, you? We saw the elastic band break to say that whatever weapon they've been forming, it's been broken, but you can still invite the devil in. Remember, I told you that. Right, let's get another deck. Let's get a deck I haven't used in a while. This one. Yeah, you better leave that burden alone, darling, dears. Look at all of the spiritual attacks they sent at you, but yet you still go on, darling dears. The buildings in the back speaks about a new home, a new business, some form of security that you've built for yourself. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. Okay. Tell us some more about the wicked family members. Thank you. They ain't got no money. They're jealous of you, darling dears. And jealousy is the root of all evil, darling dears. They're jealous of your finances. They're jealous of your mental health. They're jealous of your progeny. Because your progeny ain't what? Spawn of the devil, darling dears. Not like theirs. Mm -hmm. If they're in a relationship, I told you it's already on rocky ground in the upright. The queen of pentacles is somebody in a stable relationship. Someone who is respected. Someone who knows their worth. This person or people don't know their worth, darling dears. Well, that's their business because they wish lack on you and death. Mm -hmm. And they still, they're still attracted to your light. What else? <laughs> what did I just say? They're a fucking idiot. They're a fool, right? They're on a karmic cycle, darling dears. Rinse and repeat. And they're what? Emotionally deficit. Hiya! Come through, Uncle Roger. Posh, clap, listen, blood. They're not emotionally fulfilled, right? Just hold on a minute. Bestie, can I talk to you up close? This is why you need an ego death. They're coming to apologize to you, darling dears. They're emotionally draining, emotionally manipulative, unhappy. They're broke. They've got illnesses on them, darling dears right everything is going in backwards including their hairline so they're looking as evil as they their behaviors and they're a fucking idiot <laughs> i don't know mate i don't know i'm an ambivert right i go out when necessary and then i come back in <laughs> i don't want to talk to no one who i deem to be an idiot listen Let's I be infected by the same tar and brush. Listen, no, no, they're an idiot. <laughs> they're still calling in all of this, all of this bad karma on themselves, darling dears. Emotionally manipulative, right? Broke, jealous, disappointed in a relationship that's down the toilet. That's if they can bring their partner out in public. Some of them can't, darling dears. They've got an invisible partner. <laughs> The one that only turn up at night. Listen, the only thing open after midnight that I see in the UK is what? The police station, the hospital, mm, and the mortuary. One of three places. Listen. <laughs> oh my God. Look, how much more bad luck can they, they need to shut up. We know they fear you. We know they blame you, big cat. But allow it, yeah? They can't see that their whole life and existence is a pestilence. These family members, let's remind ourselves, right? right? That is directing all of this wickedness, darling dears. All of these choices they're making. Lover's energy, Gemini energy, right? This is the spell work, darling dears. The words. They may have gone to a practitioner of chaos magic. But, all right, all right. Let's get another deck. Let's get another deck. The pract practitioner of the chaos magic. Tell us 
What did that practitioner... What did they find out about the big cat before they tried attempting... They knew he was protected. You saw it jump into my hand. <laughs> so, all of it, your family members are fucking idiot. The practitioners are fucking idiot. And God is like, I saw that. <laughs> They are S T double O P E D blood. Stupid. God saw that. Justice card. Justice card is what? The seventh house. Open enemies, darling dears. I said the hierophant because it looked like the hierophant for, for a bit. But all of this is the two pillars, Boaz and Jashin, because you ended the situation, completion and beginning. It also speaks about what? The stable foundation that you've created for yourself, darling dears. Mm hmm. The two pillars also speaks about um, your willpower and your emotions. Don't get them involved in this situation, but why? Because you have to have a death of the ego. You've already been through that, darling dears. Why would you want to resurrect things from the dead? You are not God. They are not Lazarus. They aren't. What else? Hey, hey! Oh, child. Look, this is what the spell practice. The, the spell practice and the practitioner of the chaos magic that they paid money for, darling dears. This is what they saw. They saw that it's over with you. You've had enough. They see that some of you are going to be stepping into fame. You've learned, found ways to heal yourself, that you've poured away the past. You are standing in your authority, darling dears. Many of you are entrepreneurs. Yeah. Listen, their eyes must have been a what? Bleeding. Bleeding. The spell practitioner saw all of these things on you, darling dears, but yet they still went ahead. Right? They still went ahead. They still went ahead. And what happened? <gasps> Lord my God. What's this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Look. <laughs> I'm not like I am laughing. Because they're stupid. They need to stop that shit, blood. It's a lie. Right? Even the spell practitioner, their family is being affected, darling dears. They've been suffering with the bad karma and the bad luck, right? And it's in stone. Why? The spell practitioner, right, was jealous of your light. They saw that you was covered by the whole armor of God, but yet they still tried to perpetrate this wickedness. What did they think was going to happen? If you, if the cards are telling you, right, right, spirit is telling you, you've got the inclination not to do it. Leave this one alone. Sit this one out, darling dears. It's not for you. It's not your battle. Why would you still go ahead? Because they saw your light and the, the practitioner didn't want your light to carry on, darling. Just because you have a mission, you have purpose, and it's all in your birth natal chart. Your north node, darling, dears. Your life path number. You ain't got no time to be worrying about these feeble-minded idiots. They are, they put themselves in an entanglement of wickedness. Bad karma because of what they're directing at you, darling dears. Because, as I said, they keep you in their mouth. Why? Because they're bitter. Their life is empty. Outrageous, I know, but it's not your outrageous blood. Fist bump. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. The, the spell practitioners saw you had this light and still went away. Because I'm telling you, I don't know. If you're, I, look, what I know of people that do spell work, darling dears, you have to read on the person before you do the spell, okay? You have to know um so ever. And that person knew who you was and they still did it. Why? Because they didn't believe it themselves. Where did they get the spell from? Possibly Google spell. I don't know. I don't hang around with wicked people, darling dears. Listen, face of the deck, and neither do you. You're not taking, don't take the cup of opium of the cognitive dissonance. Allow the ego death that you had to be the only one you will ever need going forward. Split the deck again, darling dears. As I said already, it's not your burden. What's behind that? Think about it, blood. <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. It's not your burden, right? What your blessings have been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming because you had to what? Go through the ego death and come back as the lady goddess or what? The, the god. 
the God, the Emperor. And you will be forever blessed, darling dears, because you have what? A mission and a purpose. Good golly and gosh, we're past the 60 minutes. I've got to go. I've got things to do. Don't push me, darling dears. I will not tell you. <laughs> I told you. We what? That's right, Messi. We think like gangsters and move like nuns. And we are professor of the puzzle. We are what? The moving silence champion. I ain't telling nobody nothing. And if I've told you, it's because I've already done it. Anyhow, on that note, dare we get another card? Okay, then. Okay. Where are we going to go to? We'll go to Kipper because you love Kipper so much. If I can't find a Kipper, that's your business. That's your business. You have to deal with it, yeah? Because I've tidied, I've tidied up my desk. I've moved my... I've, now I've got to stand up. Listen, I didn't expect this much work today. Right? <laughs> is Kipper missing? Kipper is missing, darling, dears. Kipper is missing. No, Kipper's been found. Final messages for the big cat. They need to take you off their mind and out their mouth, darling, dears. Best off out, eh? Whoever they paid... Or whatever they did, every weapon they tried to form against you, they need to realize that you are covered by the whole armor of God. And if they continue with this fucking ease blood, it's going to what? Get them where they, where the, where the sun don't shine. Why? Because they're fucking idiots. I told you, they're idiots. They need to stop it. Right? Now the blessed one, yeah? Let's get this. Because it was right next to Kipper. What do they want to say before we go? What do they want to say? <laughs> how did you how did you do it eh how did you do it because you're a big cat and they need to suck it up and go speak to their master the devil because the devil always comes for its desserts on that note i drops me mic todd love to my teesprings my patreon on my tiktoks where i also upload videos and as i always say don't get smoked remember bestie you have everything inside of you to live a bountiful life, but you have been tasked to share your stories, your visions, your creativities, darling dears. And we will be having a prayer movement, but I'm going to pray on it because I want the most appropriate date, darling dears, the most appropriate. If you can think of something, hit me up in the Gmail and I will research it. I will look at the astrology of that date, where all the planetary energies are. And if I agree with it, and my spirit team agrees with it. We'll, we'll set that date for everybody. Have I finished? And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big cat wave. Until we meet again. On these time streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat. Leave them idiots alone, yeah? Leave them alone to their bad juju, their bad karma. You have the whole, the whole armor of God. Remember I told you that? Oh, snap. <laughs>